Cheeks Perfecting Primer as well as seeing how the LA Colors Truly Matte um, Foundation works. So like it. Okay, so it's like a moisturizer. Basically, I think I'm like too much. Can't be out there. Never talk too much. Okay. Okay, so the primer is on. My skin feels really, really smooth. If I do say so myself. Okay, let's see how this holds up. Onto the foundation. So I am the color Cappuccino, which is the second to last darkest shade in this foundation line. Yeah, let's just say they need to broaden their horizons. Broaden that shade range, jelly colors. Broaden it. So I took two bumps. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, so right off the bat, I do not like yourself. It smells like play -Doh. If you don't know how play smells, it's like a love smell. Alright, I'm mad at it. I ain't mad at it at all. It is actually matte. Do I need to set it with a powder? I do not know, but it has blended in really, really nicely. Hmm. Okay, LA Colors. I see you. I see you. Uh, contour. Highlight and all that, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so this is the finished look. The foundation is on, um, and I use the primer. So we're gonna see how long this baby lasts. So this is the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. Now I must admit, it is like matte. Like this baby is. Matte, 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 and it matches me really, really nicely, which is like good. However, they need to extend their shade range. And the primer I use was the Beauty Treats Perfecting Primer, lightweight primer for smooth and lasting makeup, makeup, makeup application. So this is it here. So we're gonna see how these two babies do. So I have some errands to run. And later on this evening, I will come back and let you all know how it holds up. I am not going to be blotting at all during the day. So we'll see how this goes. I'll be Okay, hi guys. So I'm finishing off this um, review of the LA Colors Ultra Matte Foundation. Um, kind of vlog style because I just don't want to go and set up tripod, etc, etc. So it has been... Uh, let me see what time it is just now. It has been five hours since I've had on the foundation. I was up and down, out and about. And this is how it held up. I did not blot or anything. So basically, my T-zone is very, very oily, which I kind of was expecting. I don't see any separation, which is good, I think. Um, Let me see. Well, my nose and T-zone oily. But, um... Everything seems to be looking okay, though. Okay. Now we can look at this a bit better. Okay, I've seen some separation here by my nose. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, I think my skin looks okay. I mean, all my pores showing now, but you know, such is life. I think you know what? For thirty-five dollars, you can't go wrong. 
um however i would recommend to use a uh, um a heavier we call that thing a heavier primer underneath it because all i use was the beauty treats um perfecting primer which did its thing you know it did its thing um but in order like to get longer where i would suggest to use a heavier primer under it but for 35 dollars you can't go wrong it still looks very very nice the only thing is that it oxidized so it has me looking a bit darker than before but other than that i think all is well i would give it a thumbs up so yeah that's the end of this review let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in my next video